Peace, everybody. Here we go again on the topic of right to travel. Now, here is the right to travel act from the General Assembly of Georgia, House Bill 7. It was changed from House Bill 875. It might continue to change. You're just going to have to do your own due diligence to continue to research, study, and stay up to date with what's actually going on. So, we're going to go through a couple of sections and subsections of this document. You're going to have to read this on your own. However, you know that we're going to post it up where you can find it. So, no comments on where do you find this document. So, Section 2 of the Right to Travel Act. And also, we want you to keep in mind that an act is not a law. This document and this act is simply acknowledging that we the people have had this pre-existing right okay a pre-existing right so we're going to go into section 2 subsection 1 section 2 subsection 1 sentence 11 free people have a common law and constitutional right to travel on the roads and highways that are provided by their government for that purpose Licensing of drivers cannot be required of free people because taking on the restrictions of a license requires the surrender of an inalienable right. Now, you are going to have to learn what inalienable right means and what unalienable right means. Okay? You're also going to have to use your reading comprehension skills in recognizing that this is coming from their government stating that free people, meaning that there are some slaves, okay, that free people have a common law and constitutional right to travel on the roads and highways that are provided by their government for that purpose. Licensing of drivers cannot be required of free people because taking on the restrictions of a license requires the surrender of an inalienable right which comes from your creator. So, question is, are you a slave or are you free people? Section two, subsection three, where rights secured by the Constitution of the United States and the state of Georgia are involved. There can be no rulemaking or legislation that would abrogate these rights. Pause. There's Supreme Court case law that supports that. We're going to post that up so that you can see it. The claim and exercise of a constitutional right cannot be converted into a crime. There is case law, United States Supreme Court case law. So we're going to post that up for you to see that that supports that statement. There can be no sanction or penalty imposed upon an individual because of this exercise of constitutional rights. Section 2, subsection 4. American citizens have the inalienable right to use the roads and highways unrestricted in any manner so long as they are not damaging or violating property or the rights of others. The government, by requiring the people to obtain driver licenses, is restricting and therefore violating the people's common law and constitutional right to travel. It is up to all the people that are viewing this to study the difference between what an American citizen is and a U.S. citizen. There is a huge difference in the status. So research the difference between these two. Like we said, we are not going to do all the work for you. Most of you, if not all of you, are in U.S. citizen status and are not regarded as American citizens. Section 2, subsection 5. In Shapiro versus Thompson, 1969, which is a United States Supreme Court case. 
Justice Potter Stewart noted in a concurring opinion that the right to travel is a right broadly assertable against private interference as well as governmental action. Like the right of association, it is a virtually unconditional personal right guaranteed by the Constitution to us all. The Articles of Confederation had an explicit right to travel, and we hold that the right to travel is so fundamental that the framers thought it was unnecessary to include it in the Constitution or the Bill of Rights. Now, Section 2, Subsection 6, keep in mind that what's going to be read sounds a lot like case law. That's because they're speaking law. So we're going to post some of these case laws supporting this very document and these statements that are being made herein. So all these Lord Abba guys and Tarhaka Bay guys and Sharif Bay, even though he knows the truth. However, he's full of doo doo. These guys are calling people. Not just Moorish Americans, but anybody that is exercising the right to travel on the North American continent without a driver's license, they're calling them sovereign citizens, which is a category listed by the FBI as domestic terrorists. Why would Moorish Americans call other Moorish Americans sovereign citizens for exercising rights, which would allude to them being domestic terrorists? Come on, people. You know they're getting paid to say this, right? Okay. So, continuing on with Section 2, Subsection 6. The right to travel upon the public highways is not a mere privilege which may be permitted or prohibited at will, but the common right which every citizen has under his or her right to life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. Under this constitutional guarantee, one may, therefore, under normal conditions, travel at his or her inclination along the public highways or in public places while conducting himself or herself in an orderly and decent manner. Section 2, Subsection 7. Thus, the legislature does not have the power to abrogate the citizens' right to travel upon the public roads by passing legislation forcing the citizens to waive the right and convert that right into a privilege. Come on, man. We're talking about off the top of your head, you should be saying Murdoch versus Penn. No state shall convert a liberty into a privilege, license it, and attach a fee to it. Come on, man. Off the top of your head. You should know these case laws. This shit is cool. Not knowing this shit is not cool. We don't like cussing. However, sometimes it gets so ridiculous when you have your own people trying to say that, that you're the fraud when clearly those people on World, Morris World TV, Tar Bay, clearly they're fraud. These are some fake Moorish Americans. We're talking about these are the same people that will tell you that our flag been in America over 10,000 years and then will argue with you about you claiming to be indigenous. After 10,000 years, it's kind of hard for anybody to argue that you're not indigenous to that land. So those are not the Moorish Americans that you want to listen to. That's why we say beware of these Moors. They're full of doo-doo. Tarhaka Bay, Lord Abba L. That dude right there, he, he just simply is ignorant. And whatever he feels that he doesn't know, nobody else knows yet. So, uh, whatever with him, you know, we don't really go in on him too much. He's not really that important. And plus, he'll probably say anything to get some views to his channel probably getting paid to call people sovereign citizens, Moorish American sovereign citizens. So, you know, whatever with that guy. However, review this document and we're going to keep 
producing the record because, like we said, they're not debating with us. They're debating with the record. Peace.